Hello. In this video, I talk about why I quit YouTube, what I learned, why I went back, why I quit again, what I learned the second time, and a potentially seismic lifestyle change that I would like to explore on this channel. Let's go. Why did I quit YouTube twice before? So the first time, I made a load of guitar lesson videos. Oh my goodness. I made 365 guitar lessons in 365 days. And from that, I gained 300 subscribers. And then, then I quit. I quit because I'd done all of that. And then I kind of ran out of steam. 300 subscribers, channel not monetized, loads of effort, no money in return, sort of general disinterest. So I just let the channel lie for six or seven years. Then in 2020, you know, lockdown, bored, like everyone else, needed a project. So I went back on YouTube. I saw Joe Wicks geeing up the nation with his lockdown exercise videos. And I thought, I can do that with guitar. So started doing guitar lesson videos again. This time to put a bit more personality and humor into it. Whereas uh, I think the first time I'd been a bit more shy, a bit more camera shy. The second time I had a go at making YouTube content, I was able to just relax, enjoy the process. I really made myself laugh a lot doing funny videos thinking, what am I doing? I'm losing my marbles here, trapped in a, <laughs> in a tiny flat in London. No one's allowed out. You can't go to the pub. You can't go anywhere. You can't see your friends. I'm there making, uh, making little characters with bits of paper <laughs> and getting them to talk to each other. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it did make me laugh and it served a purpose. It got me through you know, that sort of uh, lonely, boring time. So yeah, I just had more, much more fun with it. I did a series of those, I don't know how many I did, maybe about 10 in the end. And then when I tried to do serious guitar lessons, I ended up feeling like, well, hang on a minute, I teach guitar lessons for 40 pounds an hour, uh, as it was back then. Why am I doing it on YouTube for free? I mean, you know, channel's not monetized. This is not serving me in any way. I didn't need the entertainment anymore once the lockdown was over. So again, you know, mothballed the old channel, just put it to one side. What did I learn the second time? I think I learned to enjoy the process of it rather than think I must do this for likes, subs, etc, etc. Some sort of external validation. You don't need an external locus of validation. You need to be happy with what you're doing. If you're making anything, but you know, YouTube videos included, you need to do it because you love doing it as opposed to, if I do this, maybe, maybe my channel will get monetized. The reason why I'm coming back to it now is because I've become sort of fascinated by these videos about usually men, sometimes women, sometimes men and women together, deciding to just sell everything, quit their jobs, go off, buy some land somewhere where land is cheap and renovate a ruin and document their progress. So watching all of this has made me think, I wanna do that. I wanna be closer to nature. I wanna be outdoors more. I wanna have land that's my land that I can do something with. My dream of self-reliant, off-grid homesteading, do I really mean it? Would I enjoy it? I've never done anything like it. Perhaps I would really hate it. What do I want my channel to be about now? I want it to be about things that interest me now. Do I wanna teach guitar lessons for free? <laughs> At this point, the battery started to run out on my microphone, so I have overdubbed as best I can. There's a few things I can do to try and help me test the water, so to speak. So what about if I just start making videos about what you're doing and do things that are relevant to that potential new way of life? So if you want to join me on my journey of figuring out if I'm going to like this new lifestyle or not, if you want to follow along, follow along. See how I get on. Lovely talking to you. Have a great day.